Hello again, Lockpick and Paul here. And today it's mail call day. It's, we've had quite the packages delivered, all kinds of good things. I just thought I'd whip through some of these because some of them are going on somewhere else. But uh, it's just, there was a nice video earlier on this evening that uh, Parkinson Pickin did talking about the community. Um, and this is another demonstration of what an awesome community this is, how everyone comes together and shares the good stuff. And it's nice to be a part of that. It's one of the nicest places I think I've ever seen on the internet. Certainly uh, a limited number of trolls here. I think I've only ever encountered one. Uh, and that's a, that's a nice thing. Anyway, so let's get into this. Talk about some of the cool stuff. The first package is from uh, Roy Sammons. And Roy, Roy sent this to me because he said he was going to include some stickers with uh, a challenge lock he sent me. Uh, not too long ago, um, but then forgot, and then he sent them on later on. So he sent me some really nice stickers, which is lovely. Thank you very much, Roy. Great to have these. They're going to go on my uh, lock picking toolbox, along with the uh, other stickers. But he also sent some unsolicited stuff as well. A whole load of badges, so I'm going to be handing these out. But uh, there's a mixture of most, well... First of all, he's got some Roy Salmon's badges in there as well, which is lovely. Again, thank you very much, Roy. But he made me a whole bunch of lock pick and pull badges, which I was not expecting. Um, but these are great. I'm really, really chuffed with that. So, Roy, thank you so much for the unexpected goodies. Um, I will obviously hand some of these out. And... Uh, yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> How nice is that? So that's uh, one set of things, which is lovely. Uh, I'm going to get another package. This one arrived from uh, Brett Sucks. Or rather, it arrived from Otter Arms via Brett Sucks. So what we've got in here are... So one of these is for me, and one of these is for Nigby. And they are the Firehouse Challenge coins from Otter Arms uh, Firehouse. These are surprisingly heavy. They're really nice. They're kind of like the same sort of size as a poker chip. And uh, I don't have any poker chips. In fact, I happen to know there are two on their way to me probably this week. So I'm going to have to make some kind of nice wooden arrangement to sort of hold the hold the chips but uh right so I'll stick these are identical by the way they're just in different ways up uh, there you go how nice are they so otter arms thank you so much for the coins but we're also in here there are some stickers so two for me two for nigby so yeah that's nigby's coin and uh stickers and and uh, nigby that package will be going out to you this week along with some goodies that I'm going to include for you as well, which are, again, unsolicited, but I felt you should have them. So keep an eye out for that. I think you'll enjoy them. And before we move on, isn't that just one of the nicest stickers you've ever seen? Fantastic use of colour, contrasting against the black and white. It's, it's a fantastic sticker. I look at stickers like that, I and mean, I look at my sticker, and I'm thinking, man, I could do better. <laughs> That's awesome. Right, so there over there. Again, that will go on my uh, lock picking toolbox. And Brett, thank you so much for passing those on on behalf of Otter Arms. And the final thing is this from uh, Tinny Beer Can Bushcraft. So I've got sent one of his uh, beer can things, and then we've got some stickers as well. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to have any space left on my toolbox. Thank you so much for the stickers. But look at this for attention to detail. This is a pair of challenge locks. And uh, Tinny does presentation and he does it well. So if you open this up, you've got uh, two locks. These are based on Thunderbirds, if you're not familiar. 1960s, 1970s sort of puppet kids show. Brilliant, I grew up on it and it was just the best ever. Um, so. He's named these after two of the uh, key characters, Lady Penelope and Parker. Um, and they come with a fantastic 
key, very bitted, exactly the same. Look at that signature on there. Let's zoom in on that. He does do detail, doesn't he? Look at that. <laughs> now, the call sign of Thunderbirds was FAB. And these happen to be a pair of FAB or Fab Locks numbered FAB1 and FAB2. And you'll notice that FAB2 is actually open. And that's because before this video, I gave it a quick pick. Um, wasn't straightforward. It didn't open first time. This one, my word, I haven't been able to get this open yet. That has defeated me at every turn so far. Mind you, I've only given it, I've given it an hour and I haven't got into it yet. So these are not pushovers. I think you know, a mixture of, uh, this one's got tapered pins in it. And uh, once you figure out what's going on, it's not that hard. This one, however, scratching my head, to be honest with you still. So we'll see how I get on with those. They are yeah, reasonably tough nuts to crack now. So these are lock numbers 33 and 37, which will give you a clue. 19 is well over like 50 challenge locks now. So it's a man with a lot of experience building challenge locks. So I am expecting some pain. I would want to point out, because these are going on into the community after me, uh, both are marked no gut. That is because they've got a dodgy circlip on the back. Um, so they are strictly no gut if you get these. Um, but if you do want to see the pins, I believe Tinny maintains a blog where there are photographs of the pins. Also, Brett Sucks has picked both of these and he's done a gut of both of these because he is Tinny's test pilot. Um, so therefore he gets special privileges, um, which is all well and good by me. Uh, I've seen inside them, assuming that Tinny didn't do anything strange to them after Brett had them. Um, but uh, this one kind of picked exactly how I thought it would. This one, I didn't have a clue, and guess what? I still don't. So anyway, when I'm finished with them, I will put them on um, the UK Lock Pickers Facebook group, and we'll get these moving through the community. Tinny likes his locks to go flying, so these can go anywhere and everywhere in the community. I think the one request is, if you do receive these and pick them, either film or photograph them and uh, just, just keep them prominent, you know? Let people know of your experiences. I think Tinny gets a real kick out of seeing people having a go at his challenge locks. We'd like for that to continue. So anyway, what a day <laughs> for the postal service and me. Chuffed to pieces. Um, I will have. I will get these done as quickly as possible. I will do videos. I will, obviously I won't be gutting them. But uh, I feel if a lock comes across my desk, I feel compelled to pick it. But. Uh, they are just the best presented pair of uh, challenge locks. How lovely. Um, and that's it for this evening. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will get my package off to Nigby. And uh, more as I have it on getting these open. So Tinny, thank you so much for sending them to me. I think, thank you. Anyway, <laughs> if I can get them both open. All right, that's it for tonight. Have you enjoyed that? Enjoy your picking. Cheers.